Hi, and welcome back to our channel. We want to say thank you for those who are following us and are actually subscribed. We really appreciate you. For those who don't know us, my name is Azalea. And this my is, name is Anthony. And together we are the Los Santos. Santos. <laughs> and today we want to talk about money. Yay! Who likes money? Everybody likes money. Yeah, but nobody talks about it. Yeah, that's true. So we should talk about money more often. Yeah, I would definitely. like to know everything there is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And in particular today, we're going to be talking about our stimulus check because um, that just showed up in our bank today. And what better time to talk about it than when it just happened? Um, and we want to be very intentional about how we spent those dollars um, and really think about where it's going. And uh, you should see our screen now and you can kind of see... Uh, we have six buckets and a percentage to each bucket. So um, from our stimulus check, 28% is going into savings, 35% uh, towards debt, 1% to giving, 5% to retirement, 13% uh, for shopping, and 19% to personal growth. And we're going to kind of dive into each bucket and kind of explain why we put that allocation towards it. Awesome. So do you want to get started with savings? Yes. The main thing I wanted to talk about saving is that we started at a young age, that we have saved. You started at a young age. I started kind of late. Oh, really like, late. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I really started until we got married or after we got married. Um, I don't remember having much of a savings account. Yeah, when we first started dating, I was really, really frugal with my money. Yep. Because I already had money in my account, and I didn't want to spend it because I knew the hard work of working at a young age and saving all that money. And I thought about spending, as I still do, as hourly, not as money. Because if you think about it hourly, like all the hours that you put in a dollar, it makes a big difference. So I started thinking it that way. So it's really hard for me to spend money. I think uh, another way people explain it is like life hours. Yes. So that how much of your life did you have to spend to be able to buy that? Yeah. Um, Another thing, really, really important thing that I want to talk about, like, we all have to start somewhere when we start saving. And some people get discouraged because they'll start saving with $10 and then they find something like, oh, this is exactly what I have and I want to spend it. But if you think about it in this way, like, it's only $10. Yeah, you can buy something cheap for $10 or you can save it and over time because saving takes time. Yeah. Like for us. Um, it's we, a long time. Yes. <laughs> but um, we're so proud right now because, we're still, like you said, we're starting our savings again. And we're already up to $1,000. And yeah. for us, that's a lot, you know. Yeah. And I'm really proud and want to celebrate with you guys <laughs> and tell you that as well. Yeah, and then if you follow Dave Ramsey, that's baby step one, $1,000 in the emergency fund. And we got to celebrate that this morning. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. do you want to talk about retirement? Uh, debt. Debt. Um, so unfortunately, uh, we've been in debt before, got out of it. And this last year, unfortunately, was a, a big year of getting back into debt. Um, fortunately, a lot of it is in 0% credit cards. So it's not like it's um, accumulating interest, but it's definitely a bad behavior and something we don't want to do in the future. Um, so we're allocating a decent percentage, I think it's 35% um, to debt to kind of go after as much as we can um, with the extra funds. Yes, trying to get rid of it as soon as possible. And, and actually, I should say, too, um, so last month we did pay off our, one of our credit cards. Uh, this month, probably mid-month, we should be paying off a second credit card. And hopefully next month or the following month, we'll pay off another one. So we're very disciplined on kind of getting rid of that debt for sure. And one thing that we tend to forget sometimes is to celebrate all the little steps. Mm -hmm. So yay to <laughs> us to make sure that you guys celebrate even little steps. Yeah. Okay, don't forget. <laughs> Anything else? None. That. And then uh, w one of the things you know, we um, at one point last year had a decent amount of savings and were financially comfortable. Um, we did uh, volunteer and kind of spend our time helping others. But one thing we didn't do too much was giving, and um, as far as don donating, putting money towards uh, things we believe in. Um, so I think Azalea is going to talk a little bit about why we decided to put 1% towards giving, even though we're still building our savings, um, taking care of some personal debt, um, but still want giving to be a part of our life. 
Yes. Um, that's one thing that whenever Anthony asked me, where are your goals in life? Like, what do you want to do? And I always say, I always want to give back to the community. Like I mentioned, especially with people that don't have food, that makes me really, really sad uh, because I was in their shoes before. And like I mentioned many times, I love food and I can't imagine. You love food? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did I, not know this. Really? You? You're like the most expressive person I know when they eat. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't imagine anyone else not being able to enjoy something, a meal. Yeah. So one thing that Anthony and I were talking about is I told him what I wanted to do as in the future. Like I, my plan was in the future when we had enough money. I want I have big plans to give back, especially with food. And Anthony said, like, why do we wait? I mean, it's never the right time. Why wait? And then I think even when you were growing up, you grew up in a, a poor neighborhood, but there was always people within it kind of giving and supporting each other and helping. Yes. And I think that was a big influence on how you see things. Yes. I was like from a small town where it was a lot of farming was really, um, it's just farming. Mm -hmm. And my at the time we were really poor that we didn't have water, we didn't have electricity, and we only had enough for bread and water for our meal and one day we opened the door in the morning and we had buckets of oranges buckets of potatoes we had buckets of mangoes and all that was from our neighbors and, it, and my mom was crying because of the kindness of others they didn't ask for anything they didn't even show their face because they want to embarrass us because they knew because we didn't have water we had you can tell when a house is all out and you see people living there um that really i always think about that because i would like to be someone like that in the future making somebody's day without expecting anything in return and that's why we decided to give even though we're in debt even though we don't have enough savings just to give one percent because that one percent makes a big difference you know yeah. and can feed a family and i think originally we talked about uh putting giving to food banks in particular yes um i have seen a couple friends and family who have started funds for unfortunately people who have passed from COVID-19. Um, so I think some of that will also go towards kind of friends and family who unfortunately had to um, deal with that, um, but also towards our local food bank. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but funerals are not cheap, especially when you're not, you don't plan the future for yourself. And yeah, most people don't plan in savings for emergencies. Some people don't plan for death because something that we don't, want to think about yeah. so yes good um there's something good to give and let me move on before i get more sad <laughs> because uh, i'm really sensitive and i feel for others and yeah sometimes i'll cry in movies and anthony will make fun of me because i sympathize no with the i'm movie. never <laughs> making fun of her i'm laughing with her somehow <laughs> somehow we're laughing together She's just laughing with tears, I guess. I don't know. But it's okay. It helps me because it kind of gets me out of the sad moment. And I start laughing with you. So it helps. Cool. And now you would like to talk about retirement. Yeah, we'll, we'll jump into retirement. Um, so we're contributing 5% of that stimulus check towards retirement. Um, fortunately, we, I don't think we put any money into our 2019 Roth IRAs. Um, and want to get that money in there you know <laughs> i think we said we kind of got into debt last year where we ran out of savings so definitely don't have anything in retirement um want to have something in there to kind of start seeding that that you know that investment bucket starting something to start growing so especially with the <laughs> unfortunately the stock market's been a bit of a roller coaster but it's down from still down from its peak so we'll get everything at a discount yes so that's something I'm still learning, but it's really interesting and fun to play with. Um, we'll play with it because I'm only spending so little. But <laughs> yeah. And then I guess I should say, for, from a retirement investing standpoint, uh, we're really big fans of low cost index funds. Um, so if you're familiar with S&P 500 or the total stock market index um, and in Vanguard, so we would be VTSAX or, geez, I don't know the other one. Um, but we're in those types of funds. That's where most of our retirement funds would live in. And is that a safer area you would say to invest? Um, yeah, and we actually, despite being young, we do have a percentage allocated towards bonds. 
um, which worked out perfectly <laughs> right now with the, the market down. Um, we have kind of an automatic reallocation. So um, that kicked off a few things that kind of hedged our bets. So we're um, not in a total loss right now. That's good. Yeah. Cool. And I guess um, what most people like talking about is our third or second to last category, uh, shopping. Yes. Um, I love It's shopping. not a stressful topic for Azalea at no, all. No, no. I, <laughs> I love shopping, but it's not like your typical shopping. I'm not a big, like I, so I said before, I'm frugal with my money, so I pay attention to what I really want to spend on. And this past year, we've been thinking about what our budget is and everything, and I realized I don't mind spending money on food, quality food, good products. I like to make everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time, and not just sometimes, a lot of times I go over budget. That's me. <laughs> on food. <laughs> But I don't buy like clothes. The, the good thing is she'll go over budget on the groceries, but that also means we're usually under budget on eating out. So it kind of balances out. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I could be spending that money on shoes, makeup. Like you <laughs> see, I don't wear makeup often. I don't know why, but I feel more pretty without it. I want to put makeup. I, I think you're more pretty without it. Really? Yeah. I feel like um, I'm not fooling anyone. This is what I look like. And yeah, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Um, but besides shopping, I do want to talk about what I spent my money on my percentage. We're planning to, yeah. Yes. Um, it's a Ninja Mega Kitchen system. I always seen like all these like. And we've been, or you've been wanting that since Black Friday last year, if I remember correctly. Yes, but then they <laughs> they sold out, and I was like, oh, it's okay. Um, we're we were holding back, trying to see if we wanted to make the decision, and then when we were finally ready. almost ready. <laughs> Um, it was it was gone. Yeah, and then also I don't like to have a lot of things in my kitchen. Like yeah. I said, I'm like old school. I like to do everything like if I if it takes longer. But then I saw that though I was like, oh, that you know maybe I should get into technology, more advanced, <laughs> you know. Ooh, advanced <laughs> kitchenware. <laughs> yes, and I was like, okay, you know what? Let's do it. So um, I'm spending my money on that. Mm -hmm. Some keto supplements. And what's something that's pretty cool about that, it's it's a the, the system, it's a blender. Yes. It's a food processor, and I think it has Shaker. two smoothie-type yeah. uh, things. So it's pretty yeah. it pretty is. useful, especially as uh, we have one blender right now, and it's like cooks all the time, and I see her struggle. Like, she'll use it for one thing, and then have to clean it, and then use it again, and clean it. So Plus, hopefully it makes things Anthony really easy. makes a bulletproof coffee. Yep. And sometimes... Which is a huge blender for just a little bit of coffee. Yes. And then... <laughs> Like, I already have plans to make something uh, in the, that morning for lunch, and I have to wash the blender because he doesn't wash the dishes. I wash the dishes. So, but he makes I the rinse. coffee. I rinse and I soak. Yes, that's very important. <laughs> but actually, I just... So I'm helping a little bit. Yeah, yes. but our system is I do the dishes. I don't mind doing the dishes. I just don't like putting them away. Mm -hmm. So that's his job. So it works. Same with laundry. Well. You don't mind putting everything in and starting it, but you don't like folding. So yes. I usually fold. Yeah, I don't then, mind doing the. Laundry. And then it sits in the laundry basket until the next one, and I'm like, "What the heck?" Well, I wish you knew where my clothes went. So you can no, just I don't. <laughs> I know, but it's like, wait. Anyway. Um, what else are you getting? Um, keto supplements. Mm -hmm. That's pending, right? You're yes. still not sure if you want to spend that amount of money on towards it. Yes, uh, I know it's a product that I used before to lose weight and to help me go into ketosis. And I was like, maybe I want to try it with the diet now and see yeah. if it works. Because I lost a lot of weight fast. I was losing a pound a day seen, with the product. This was uh, when you were doing Prove It before our wedding. Yes. Yeah. But I was working out too. Yeah. And, well, we spend money and Down Dog, they had uh, the app was free for a month. And it's a yoga app. Yes. And Azalea hated yoga for... I don't know, at least the first two weeks, but um, it was free and well, we're runners, so it's nice to have uh, different. something different and low impact. So we've been using that and I think Azalea is starting to, to like it. Well, I'm starting enough, to get... Enough to where she put $20 of her shopping money towards it. Yes, I didn't want to lose the app just because <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get better at it, so I'm starting to like it. You know, anything, you, anything new is hard at first until you start figuring it out, then it's not so bad. So that's where I was. I was like, I hate this thing. Yoga is not for me. And saying all these mad things. But of course, I give at it. And then I'm like, oh, I can touch my toes now. Oh, my God, I can do this. 
And so I'm at the point where like, you know what? Now I want to take it to the next level. And I want to, I'm a beginner still, but I want to be like medium, then hard, and then be a pro. And then you can see my cool <laughs> poses. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No. And then uh, your one last category for you, it looks like. Oh, yes. This is actually the hardest for me because um, I told Anthony, people talk about like, give yourself something nice. Like buy yourself, spoil yourself. And that is so hard for me to buy something for myself. And that's one thing I want yeah, to spend. Usually you want to buy something for both of us or for the house. For the house. Or a gift for you. I want to yeah. surprise you. Or a gift for my sister, a gift for somebody else. And that actually is part of your spending money is going towards a gift. Yes. That is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gifting um, $50 mm -hmm. to one of my closest friends, like a little sister to me. Uh, I've known her since she was um, five, no, three years old. And I, yeah, I love her. And she's graduating and she's missing prom and she's missing graduation because of COVID. And I mean, money's tight right now, but I thought at least, you know, give her yeah. something. And yeah, I was telling Anthony, like, I started thinking, oh, what do I need for myself? I was like, oh, I need socks. Oh, I need jeans. jeans. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, like, is that something for myself? Like something that can be useful? Like something that I really, really want? I was like, that, right now I'm thinking about something for myself that I can be selfish at. Yeah. But it's hard. So I'll keep you posted and see I if I think of anything. We're kind of, or you're looking at waiting until Memorial Day, it seems yes. like. To see, see what, what kind sales. of sales are there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know if I decide it. Or if not, I'll save the money and <laughs> do I find something. Carry it over to next month. Yes. Yeah. And then the last category for us is personal growth. Um, it's a weird combo. Like, we were big fans of investing in ourselves. Um, I think Maxwell says if you don't invest in yourself, how can you ask somebody else to? So, um, we always believe in personal growth and trying to make ourselves better. Um, that's also, unfortunately, some, some of why we got into debt and stuff last year. So we're being smarter about it, um, but still want to continue that path to getting better um, every single day. Yes. Um, so we'll do one more time just so you see the buckets. Um, it was 28% towards savings, 35% towards debt, 1% to giving, 5% to retirement, 13% to shopping, 90% to personal growth. Um, I, I'm guessing most of you got your stimulus checks already um, and maybe had spent it. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you also who have it coming soon. I would highly encourage you to um, come up with your own buckets and really think about where you want those dollars to go and um, make the most out of it. You know, it's we're not in a good situation, but always look on the plus side and try and make it a good uh, scenario. Yes, especially the young ones out there. I have a few friends that are really young, and they are really excited about the check, but I have no idea what to do with it. Um, some of them have asked me, and I say, just put it in your savings account until you figure out what you want to do with it. If you're not sure, um, just keep it there for you know until you make your list and figure out what you want to spend it on. Cool. Well, anything else you want to add? No, that's it. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, until next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.